Okay, thanks for watching. Leave any questions in the comments. This is the Elementor Images for Beginners short tutorial. We have our uh, dashboard open. I'm going to go to Pages and I'm just going to open up my home page. If you don't use templates, I would highly recommend that you use templates if you're a beginner because that will show you sort of how to lay out your site, how to space the images, and uh, you can import templates and then use them as a starting point. So I'm going to add a template by hitting the plus and the folder. And then I'm going to, you can inspect the page or you could just insert it. I'm just going to insert the entire free page in there. You'll see you have these sections inserted in. Uh, delete the sections you don't want. And this is the section that I wanted because if you need to do a few icon boxes, here you have an image placeholder that you can replace. Here you have another one and you can replace that. So these are really handy to get ideas and also to use the sections to insert images in. The easiest way to insert an image into your page is to click the plus. This time I'm going to do the two column layout. And here are the two columns. Click the widgets and click the image widget. Here you have a nice placeholder. Click the image. And if the image is already in your media, insert the one you want. You'll see here's the image that I placed in there. If you want the image to go all the way to the edge of the column, that would be under Edit Section, Columns Gap. Normally there's a slight gap. If you choose No Gap, now the image will stretch all the way to the edge of the column. I'm going to remove this one because I'm going to put in a different one now, like this one here. I want the large one. Okay, here's the large one. Okay, and you'll see it's taking a lot longer to load. So I placed an image in here, and let's say you wanted the image to be m more uh, portrait because you have some content here and you want it to stretch a little bit further down. So when you click this, you'll see it's sort of a landscape look. So I'm going to update. I'm going to save my changes. Now I'm going to leave and go to media. Now I'm going to go to that image. And now if you want to decrease the size, which you'll probably want to do if it's one of those large uh, royalty-free images from Unsplash or uh, Pexels. You click Edit Image. You would adjust the dimensions here. And since we're going to uh, probably about 2,000 would be good. So you scale it here. And once you scale that original image, if you want it more portrait, just select the area that you want. Okay, and then click Crop. Save. By the way, if you wanted to make like a perfect square, you would just create a square and then type one to one. And now whatever aspect you want, it's going to maintain that square. So I'll just hit cancel for now. Okay, so we edited this image. You'll see the new dimensions are here so it'll load better. To load that image into the page, go to your page, edit with Elementor and I'm going to delete the image that's in there right now. Oh look, it already changed it, but let's delete it. And now I'm going to insert it in there. You'll see that that's the correct one. And now for the image size, if you choose full, that means it's the original. See, these are the options that you can choose from, and you want to choose the smallest one as possible, but see, I already scaled it down, so I can use this full one because the one that I scaled down is the full one, or the original. So we'll do that, and now we have a nice portrait image. I'm going to duplicate this column, 
drag it over here looks like we got it right there delete this column now we need a spacer here you got two options if you want to lay this out um, towards the middle you can either add a spacer and then increase the space but you need to always go to your responsive mode here to ensure that it'll still look good in mobile because if you add too much space there'll be too much space in mobile but in this case it looks fine so go to desktop now I added a spacer the other option is to delete this and go to your column edit column and then here we have get rid of that I want to go to maybe it's under edit section content position middle so that automatically snapped it into the middle you'll notice right away the difference between a background image and an image widget the image widget takes up space in your page the background image just covers the space whereas the widgets inside of the section they're the things that are taking up the space on the page so the difference being you control the proportions and stuff on this image and if it's too big or too small you just adjust it in the media if you need to adjust the height of this and if you get more content um, duplicate you'll see that now there is space on this column because it's a two column layout so now the the empty space is on this side because I have more content here taking up the space of the whole section that goes down to here so that's something to be aware of so the difference between the regular image and a background image is when you do a background image you go to edit section and we're gonna do this is oh this works best on one column sections so when you edit the section and you go to style and you choose classic you can either do a color or you can put an image in there if you put an image in there notice that they chose size cover that means they wanted to cover the section uh, in a horizontal terms so this cover is a very nice thing to use if you are having trouble covering it if it's not working you might have to go change the proportions in the media like we did before this image also has a background overlay to make this white text stick out so you'll notice edit section style collapse the background and under background overlay they selected a color a dark blue and that helps the white font pop out and then if you actually want to insert a image into the background overlay and blend them select that image box here's a starry night and now we are blending this image with the other image here are the blend modes down here and you can experiment with those if you know uh, about Photoshop and all of those things you can just experiment with um, all of the different blend modes so now you have these background images you can write on you can put headings on you can put buttons on these regular images you'll notice all you can do is enter a caption and you can make this image a link by when you click the image it says link so now you can do a custom URL and enter paste the link here and when someone clicks on the image it'll take them to a new page so you on these image widgets you would put the information here and maybe a button here that would link to things whereas here the background image doesn't do anything so you write over it and you put your button right here in the middle okay another type of image to be aware of 
we're going to do another one column section the image gallery you have a lot of settings to go from but I'm going to pick um, three let's see three create gallery and so you can adjust all of these settings uh, click advanced here's the background here again you choose classic oops you can do a color once again or you can do a gradient so you can do all of those things here with the uh, with the image gallery if you edit widget and you go to content you'll see that you can make it pull up a light box so that when they click it it just pulls up the image so those are the, another some of the options here we'll update that okay and then another type of um, another type of image to place into your site click the widgets you have the image box that's similar to the icon box that's here uh, the only difference is is that it's an image that you need to put in your media before you um, before you come into Elementor so that you can select it here so you can place the image to the side and now you got your your image box here and by the way um, the image size you probably don't want full because this image is very small so you want to select the smallest thing that would still work in your site so you you know maximize the size and everything you should probably do like a medium or or a large but don't use the full thing because if that's like six megabyte file you're and it's gonna shrink it down to 200 anyway so you just use one of these options to get to just ensure that it's going to fill the space but it's also going to be much faster okay um, here we have another image in the background so you can you can get a lot of ideas from the templates I would recommend just doing plus and then going to the folder and then inserting the entire page and that'll give you ideas on how to Put your images, how to lay out your images, and um, I showed you the, the background overlay and things. See here is a three column section and this column was a background image, sort of like how we did the background image for the whole section, but this is just a spacer here. See when you click it, it's a spacer. So how did they get that image to just cover the whole column? They did it the same way that they did the section background. You just right click the column, edit column, style, and then they chose classic and then chose an image and once again chose cover to make sure it covered the whole column and it inserts the image into the background of the column because they got the button over here so you can put the button on this side and then just have a nice placeholder image in the background of the column and then this whole section you see in the background there's yet another image for the background of this section uh, if you want full tutorials on making a site step by step instead of just sections uh, if you head to my site step by step wp.com this is where I'm going to be posting all of my full tutorials on making an entire site if you go to the video section you have your complete WordPress tutorials and uh, thanks a lot and um, see you next time